Yeah, and the smooth progress of work on the Adome Bridge rehabilitation may suffer and due delay following a threat by the local workforce to lay down their tools. The workers complain of low remuneration and other poor working conditions, but management told Peter Kwaadato the workers have no case. The Adomi Bridge, built in 1956, was closed down for major repair works on March 10 this year. The contractors, Bellfinger, engaged over 30 local artisans, including welders, steel vendors, and metal fabricators to help execute the work. The artisans were signed on for 37 CDs, 48 pesos per day, excluding overtime allowance. This appeared to have fast-tracked the progress of work, but recently the local artisans demanded 500% increment. The agreement we have on the paper is that 30.74. Uh, we want increase to 150 Ghana cities. And we can explain the reason why we want that 150 to be the 30 point 74 to increase to that point. In terms of the uh, work, the CO2 and the smoke and other things, we find it very difficult. And we work with the white one and one, the same standard, the same qualification. And we have a paper that we use to work. So by the course of the day, you know, we are artisans, we are not helpers. And as Jumja told TV3, they are always referred to the labor laws anytime they raise concern, but insisted the way to go is an industrial action. And anytime that they talk to us, they refer us to a labor. That's not what our position is. So we are pleading the government or the president to do something about it because very soon and very soon we are going to hang the job. And we are not going to let anybody to enter this yard to come and work. Another employee, Bright Sarkodia Boahi, however, held a different view. You see, a problem I want to say the nature of the job, you know, I have been here, you know, and this is a common thing, you know, and you know, I to the management of this company, say, I'm going to show you how to do this, and I'm going to show Even addition to overtime, we earn about 900 Ghana a month, which is not equal to the uh, economy growing up. So we are pleading to the management to help us addition money so that we can feed our family and do proper thing for the country. But the project manager, Paul Herman, said the welfare of the workers was not in question and denied any knowledge of claims regarding poor wages. I did not hear of these reports. We orientated the pay of our local workers on regular salaries of the country and I think that we are not taking advantage of anybody. We always sit down together and try to sort out whatever is necessary. The stand was supported by the resident engineer, Dr. Victor Nyantechiba, who expressed surprise over media claims. So far, we've not had any complaint in relation to payment. So we are hoping that the workers are happy and there is no problem of such. Transport Minister Jifa Kuatibo appealed for calm. I know it's not easy. I know they are going through challenges, but it's a sacrifice that they have to bear. And I want to assure them that government is on course to make things better for all of us.